remember who it was, but I think one of our guy clients here asked us how we desensitize horses to uh, ATVs. This is actually the second time we've done this, and I go on out. This guy's over here is a young baby. I've done circles with him. She's. We've driven in the pasture, and now we're actually going to go out the trail. And it's really helpful to have somebody do this that is going to be kind with the ATV to give your horse positive experiences. Obviously, you know, if they get really scared with it, then it's, um, it's kind of hard to undo. So we're waiting for our Steady Eddie horse, who has no problem with any of this. And then I'm going to actually follow them as we head on out to the trail. Uh, we're really fortunate to have a trail right out of this place that we work out of. with her mini horsemanship over there on Poteen as well. She's getting her GoPro ready. So you see I'm going to keep a nice safe distance. I don't go in front of the horses because I can't hear them with the noise of the ATV if they're starting to have an issue with it. So that's why I'm coming up from behind. I know that might scare some horses more, but that's why we've worked on the arena with having them stand there and having me run laps around it. So that, uh, so that we know that that's not going to be an issue per se. And plus, as we know that, you know, eventually the scariest part is actually having an ATV come up and pass them from behind. That we have this access to work on this in this uh, situation. So where it's nice and controlled. There's nobody else out on this trail because of the private trail. So we don't have to worry about overwhelming our horse in the situation. So, yep. If you guys have any questions about how we do this, uh, feel free to contact me um, at Synergistic Horsemanship and Please remember to subscribe to our channel. I always forget to put that in the beginning. But we really, really, really like making these videos for you guys and just want to help everybody out. So, uh, yeah, we, have, we also have more detailed uh, videos on our clients only page. So, contact uh, Cindy or I, comment below, send us a message, however, you'd like to uh, get a hold of us to uh, help your further your horsemanship. So, thanks so much for tuning in. Bye bye. are going to go right by these guys and they're going to have zero issue with it. Um, we spent a lot of time desensitizing them to traffic, getting them used to semis, getting them used to uh, the dog, all that stuff because it's really important to make your horse well-rounded and safe for yourself. Uh, the lead horse in front, I just realized I should not take claim for her. We did not train her. The other trainer that trained her did an awesome job. Um, Gosh, I wish I could remember her name off the top of my head, but she's in the Sacramento area for those of you down there, but I highly recommend her. If uh, anybody wants to know who she is, you can send me some comments below because uh, we've been nothing but happy with her, the horse that she sold us. Uh, but uh, the guy behind, uh, we've done most of the trail work with him and are very pleased with the, the job that uh, Everybody who's worked with him has done. Uh, there's been myself, there's been Jason Diaz, there's been Matthew Coates, and now uh, Becca. I've been the only one that's been there the whole way though, uh, besides the owner. We, uh, we got him as a six month old and we did all of the groundwork on him and uh, got him used to all this stuff. So that's why I feel that I can lay claim to this video is because I know that this stuff was not worked on by any of the other people, and Becca as well, of course, since riding him right now. So, uh, takes a team, nice village to get all this done. But as you can see, I mean, they are handling this incredibly. Uh, some horses, this would overwhelm them. 
but we put in the time, the effort, the diligence, and have been there for them and just helped them through this process. I would also like to mention, as far as the ATV driving, I would not have somebody drive the ATV that is not a horse person because they won't know when they're starting to set your horse off. It's really important that the person driving knows the signs of when a horse is starting to get stressed and they know how much space you need to give them. I'm sorry guys that I didn't bring my mic today. I should have brought that so the ATV noise was drowned out, but I sure hope that uh, you can uh, hear me. And you can see the horses are a little bit confused when the ATV dips behind the sagebrush there, but uh, they've started to associate the sound well enough that they kind of know what it is. So once again, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I know I kind of concluded the video earlier, but I decided that uh, I wanted to add some more stuff to that. So uh, to the video and share some good info with you guys. So please remember to subscribe and join our channel if you want to learn more about all facets of horseback riding and owning a horse. And please comment below if you have any questions. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.